Well, one, because nobody talks about it. That's one. So I'm a big fan of unpopular causes. Uh, I was very sick from 2010 to 2015, trying every different thing and concoction, some that aired on kind of like a I Love Lucy, you know, with the rubber suit and the hat and the, you know, grease. And, you know, my husband, of course, has a good sense of humor and, you know, he's still around, so that's good. Um, and um, I, I don't know, I lucked out. I, uh, I started making jokes and then my manager and got a call from Novartis and um, the National Rice Foundation. And somehow I wound up involved with them and I was gonna do this photo shoot and I was very excited, you know, photo shoot I love cause like it's a painting, I'm a painting. And um, you know, we figured out how to have everything the color of skin and I'm thinking that's really good and I put a really tight corset to make a line and then as soon as I took that off, my skin was, you know, ripped off, falls off, and it was horrible. And I was really cranky the next day, and, and the lady looked at me, and I showed her. And the next, the very next meeting, I was sitting in a room with other people that had psoriasis for real, not just like a little rash. And the truth is, it's not a little rash. It starts like that. And, you know, mine started with, here's some shampoo. So I figured, hey, psoriasis, eczema, it's all the same. And I, you know, was washing my hair. Everything was good until it spread and spread. And, sp and my whole entire body was covered, and, except for my face. Believe it or not, I don't know. I don't oh, know. I lucked out. I was still working. Um, but when I met these people and talked to them, one young woman, Melissa, said she was a ballerina and no one would lift her because they thought it was contagious. And I felt, you know, sometimes when people would say, is that contagious? But you have to understand I'm Sicilian, which could mean anything, and I'm a little spiteful. So if somebody asked me if something was contagious and I knew it wasn't, I might, you know, I might shake their hand and say, well, <laughs> you know. But, um, you know, for her it was, she wanted that out in the open. And then they started talking to me and said, because I was really famous, I would be able to speak for them. And then all of a sudden, you know, my self-importance probably got really pumped up. And I thought to myself, well, here's the opportunity for you to talk about something that's not popular and help people. So that's kind of why I'm here. And also to urge people who do, who are ill with it, to understand it's not a rash, it's an inflammatory thing. And your whole body is inflamed. And, it, you know, it, it's connected with psoriatic arthritis, which I don't have, ironically. Um, but I, I am very fortunate because I found something that worked for me. Um, what worked for me might not work for you. That's the dirty trick because we're all so different. Everything is different on each person. It's just like when somebody says, you know, the cod liver oil works really good. And there you are with the cod liver oil and the saran wrap like an idiot at night, trying not to wreck the sheets and, the, you know, and stinking to high heaven. That was an actual suggestion, cod liver oil? Yeah, because for somebody it actually worked. And, you know, I found a practitioner who actually studies the diseases of the skin. And honestly, not that cosmetology isn't great. Trust me. I think it's awesome. But when you're sick, you really need somebody who specializes in diseases of the skin, not how to make you look whatever. You know, as long as you don't look like Catwoman, I, you know, I'm, I'm in that realm. It's okay. Um, 
but I was very lucky to start working with the National Psoriasis Foundation and Novartis. And when I did the See Me to Know campaign, which I saw on TV and I thought to myself, hey, why aren't I in that? You know, of course, because I always think I'm so self-important. Um, but when I actually did the campaign with them and listened to other people talk, I'm, and I know I'm talking too much. I just want the people in here that might be have it to know that it's not just a rash and look into it and research and don't give up. And that's why I wrote the video like that. They wanted me to write a song and the people who I was with, it was important to them. So I didn't want to fail them, you know? So I wrote about hope, which is what people need. You got to give people hope. That's what's lacking sometimes. And don't give up. 